first thing, before even looking at their faces, you are looking at that thing. Before you even see their face, or you are seeing life in Abuja, you are seeing follow them. Now, this is intentional. The reason why we do this is where once you see life in Abuja, you want to hear, okay, what is going to say about life in Abuja? Then, while you are watching, you are seeing his angle. You want this thing to stick to your head, to follow. Mm. You see the way I wrote my own. I don't want to be recognized as that red and yellow. I'm not a comedian. What's my own way is supposed to be? So this is very wrong. It's very but for comedy, it works. For comedy is well. This guy is not doing anything serious. His job is just for you to laugh and follow him and let him get more followers and go for shows. That's all you want. He's not trying to sell anything tangible for you. He's not inviting you to any program. Now let's go back to another professional video that Yeah, my name is um, Abiola Ibanjo. I'm from Nigeria. I'm currently a PhD student at the video will not ask any text. Um, so happy you to know, connect. She was with, telling you um, something about the fake blow, fake mm -hmm. depth of field and you know. Yeah. If you look this one now, on the, unless you are an editor or a photographer, you can dictate maybe it's fake or real. It's fake. It's actually real. Mm. Yeah. Why? Is that what Because this was done from the camera. I promised myself I would never do that again because I did one job one time and I said I would do it in post. Forget it. Because I was so confident I can edit. Is it not me? Forget it. And I did it, played the video, they played the video in church. People saw it. Wow, wonderful. I made the mistake of uploading it to my YouTube channel. Then my fellow editors I saw it coming, the big guy. The guy screenshot the video, outlined it in the way I did it. He just outlined it, analyzed the way I did it, every, and it was true. Because he's a like mind. He understands what I understand. I have to put down the video. So sometimes when you're doing things, it's not about people do as if you are, another editor is going to see it, another person is, gonna, is going to see that video. The worst person to show your video to is like a tailor who doesn't have your editor, you not carry your video and show a tailor and back. Let me check. You just can say yes. <laughs> or you go and show a show uh, address and have it. Why are you doing Because that's happened in India, place before. I did a video, his wife said, Oh, wonderful! Uh, but that just is so well, okay. And I got outside and last week. The video was not. <laughs> and his wife said, Ah, oh, it's okay. But it was not. So when you're showing video, look for a photographer or those people who understand, creative people who think, and not that those tell are not creative, no, they're no, creative no. in their own side. You, if they show you material that is this, so you say, Yes, it's good. But the lining is not okay. Because that's their own. But you own, look for your own like mind. Let them be the one. I have a friend that, okay, after you finish work, send it to the guy, help me check this. There's a video you did one time. Is it you that you, you duplicated yourself like this? I saw that video. I said, never you upload this thing. I think I told you. I said, don't upload this video. Not say that, you. Not say that I'm teach you that kind of thing. I'm not doing that, I that. But there's some you would do, you would do like this. Ah, this guy is trying. But put it on your status. Don't upload it anywhere else. Because. They will fall back. Ah, how do you usually say? I went for one trade. They taught me who just is taught you this. How? One thing I do is for every job I do, please connect me. For every job I do, no matter the amount she mentioned it, no matter the amount she pay, even if I'm doing it for free, I will never draw standard or quality because I don't know where that job is going. I don't know where that video is going to. I will never. It's better. I tell you, if you cannot pay this amount, I won't do it. Then I said, after all, is it not 1,000 naira you pay? I will now be dizzy, do it sharp, sharp, and give you. And finally, you have connection. Your uncle that knows your brother, that knows your sister, that senior your brother. Now collect it. I'm going to play in AIT. I'm going to play it in uh, DSTV. And I said, yeah. People did this video. They say it's one, it will not come back to me. 
and because I didn't rub it because you pay a small amount of money. No matter what, let your job be able to speak back to you. So that's why don't be in a rush. You can rush, record your video, okay, good, fine. She has taught you how to do that one. Your content is your own. Whatever you're saying is your product. I don't know what you're going to be saying. But whatever is going out, take your time. Write it down. Write it down. I, might, I used to shout on people when your camera said, please stop laughing, be serious, get your script. But one day I said, okay, let me do video. Last training, I said, okay, I want to invite people. Do you know I spent almost three hours, only meal. Trying to make one statement. <laughs> mm. Those people laughing is because I've shot on them. <laughs> Try to make one statement. Okay, my name is Maxi Justice. I'll be training. No, no, it's not I'll be training. So we'll be training. Okay. Okay, again, take two. My name is. Ah! This will be the they try. I now understand that. Facing that. Because why? I was trying not to make mistake. Now it now occurred to me that, okay, I'm an editor now. It's not what I tell people, say it anyhow, I will call it. Say, My name is Mark Justice, I will be, no, I will not be editing, I will be doing this. I mean, if you watch that video today, it's just fun anyway. I just did it anyhow, and people are not seeing it, but me, I'm seeing the mistake. So, in the world of editor, we'll tell you, make your mistake. Leave a paste. What is the paste? A space. Like, okay, when you're recording your video, you say, okay, my name is Mark C. Justice. Today. You see what happened there? There's a space. So when you want to court, you have a space. Yeah. Now, my name is Mark Justice. Today, I will know. My name is Abba. No, Abba. No. There won't be. If you, talk, if you talk too much like that loud, I talk, I talk a lot. But when it comes to video, chill. Chill. Leave a space between your words in where you know that I can court here. Let there be a paste. That paste is very important. Because without a face, you won't have a room to cut. Now, what is cut? Let me show us this video. I did a lot of cut, 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 cut during this. Um, I'm sorry, I have to play this here for me because there are two different types of cuts. I'm sure nobody has noticed any cut. Wait. No. There's a fake. There's something I did here. Hallelujah. We'll call the camera tree. You're welcome to if you notice, the video is kind of dangling small like this. This is a year of. No, I use it to hide my cut. I don't want you to notice that there's a place I cut. She said that hallelujah like four times. It's okay. I'm gonna say it again. Chill. Again. Oh yeah, this is the right hallelujah. Let's continue. We can spend one hour shooting just <laughs> these two minutes. But when they come out, say, wow, mama is good on video. Come to the location. So the job of an editor, your job, you're just like, you're taking all the pain, all the bullets from the uh, cinematographer, videographer, the director, the scriptwriter, everybody has done their job. They've written the script, they've approved the script, they've done everything they need to do. Now, that content will not go anywhere without you. And you decide what goes. So, when, we, when you're watching any home video and you say, ah, this person did rubbish, please don't blame them. Two people you need to blame the editor and the director. Because after the editor, the director will still come back to watch what he directed if it was edited the way it was directed. Scriptwriter is own is okay. Yeah, they slap the guy. Okay, yeah, they're supposed to slap him here, and he says, "Oh, ah, he pay me." Okay, yeah, he said it. He doesn't care when he said it and when. Editor and director. So editor has the final say. So what go what goes out of you, need to be checked. That's why most of editors edit at night. <coughs> Someone like me, you can see me all day running around playing, doing everything, but at night. I want to focus. Listen, play again, play again, play again. And again. So let's go back. 
so I left from here. So this is your timeline. What happens in this timeline is this is where you bring in, this is where you do your cuts. And my favorite tool in this timeline is this. Apart from those people who were in the last training, please, who can, can you, what's the sign for? I like this tool a lot. When I hit C on my keyboard now, it says I like it. Cut. Cut anything. Import anything. Cut, cut, cut. This is, without this guy in video editing, I don't think there will be anything called video editing because this is actually video editing. Every other thing, every other thing is just addition. Also, without cutting, okay, join another scene. So, I was showing you different type of cuts. I played that video for you, for you to detect the cuts inside. It's by himself. Me, those 12 more you. This guy is another cut. Let me show you another type of cut. something like this in an interview somebody said okay my name is my name is Oscar I went to Ibadan in a court farm because he wanted to be dressed in farm in a court another place he says in Ibadan they slap me in a court time bring my my name is Mark in Ibadan they slap me and I bring another one and I went to scatter it now I'm building a story here this is the story I'm trying to tell you how the event went how it started how it went how everything went through from scene to scene. I'm cutting too much. This, this is what they call cut too much. Watch the drum, watch the drum and the clap. Just watch. It's what we call action cut. The reason why I'm, I'm showing you this is because sometimes you might have pictures, clips, you want to join together to make a story. First of all, what you do is get your sound. Get your soundtrack first. And please, do not use any copyrighted sound. Don't use somebody's music. Don't use these people. They paid for it. They paid for this sound. They actually sent it to me. They paid for it. If they don't pay for it, if you... You have to get a license to use it. If you upload it on YouTube, you honor it to no go. To no go. Even right now, if you upload it on Facebook, they'll pull it down. Upload it on Instagram, it's down. There it is, it makes you monitor those things. So don't use any copyrighted sound. It will not go. So you can go on YouTube, go on YouTube library, search for non copyrighted soundtracks. You'll get a lot of them for free you can use. But it's because it sounds nice, you want to use them. If you use a copyrighted sound, you will spend whole days editing and it will shock you like wire. You can't use it. You can't upload it anywhere. Even Instagram, you cannot. So once you upload it, they will tell you content block, copyright. They will tell you the owner, the original owner of that one, or the soundtrack. So that is why you don't need to use any copyrighted sound. So when you import, when you find your sound, listen to that sound again. If it match what you want, because you can't be using a yuma, a yuma for something that you want it to be like a solo for some, like somebody you want to tell a story of how a young boy was crossing the road and car jammed the guy, boom, now it starts the sound, no, 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 it should be a sound of like keyboard or violin, something that will relate, I think I don't know if project like that, so, so let your soundtrack match. What's your the story you're telling? Let your soundtrack match the story you're telling. If it's action something that people are shout running, if it's what people are running, people are running around, you can use the sound of long don't use please, please, please. Don't use the mentality of watching African magic because that's thing we are trying to create. Don't use them don't watch African magic and come and do it. Brother, please, 
stop watching it, African magic. And don't practice it. Stop watching African magic and you come and practice it. Because you had a sound they used it, please don't. Because those people, they sold one idea to us. Make us feel like ghosts must wear white. All those things must have. There's some things that African magic have sold into our head that made us believe that sometimes they're not true. So, so watch more of the things that will... Let me tell you how to learn edits very well. Watch uh, any American movie without audio. Mm. I know it sounds difficult. Watch it without audio. I know you will sleep. You just frustrate it. What's the time? You will notice before five or ten minutes, you ta- you start understanding the story. You will you will, you will just connect because you know what you do. You will be in the character because when you are watching with audio, your phone can ring. You can say okay, quickly reply that chat and continue. But when there's no volume, when it's mute, you will pay attention. And that's when you understand where the cuts, when the next person came in. You will not hear all those bam bam, those ones are gone. But watch and understand without volume. Mute it. How do those deaf people, how do they understand things? Hmm? Some of them are even more intelligent than we die. That is it. So, watch like that. You see, by. I myself, I enjoy moving without volume. Because it makes me understand the production more. That's, so, some people, if you've gone to cinema with me, like you, you can't sit close to me because I will criticize everything from beginning to the end. So, that is number one. That one will help you. It's a personal TV, you get to try it. I know you will sleep. Of course, you will sleep. Especially if you're watching it in the night, you will wake up, the movie will play, replay, replay. You will sleep. But try to stay awake. Find your favorite movie, stay awake, watch. Well, please don't watch movie you've watched before, a new movie you've not seen. Not that it's the one you've watched ten times, you know, mute it. It will be repeating what you're saying. So that is number one. So once you find your soundtrack, import your soundtrack. Soundtrack is the first thing you bring in. Let's start something. Let's start something. Let me go and look for my own soundtrack. Let me duplicate. So that you see whatever I'm doing here. It's time to look onto the screen. You need to see everything I'm doing right here. And I need to tell you this. Organize your projects. I think I told you first, uh, our form of the first training, that was the, thing I, the first thing I come out of. Organize your projects. After you've done your video, the first one, the second one, the third one, I'm, you will do like up to five times before you can get it right. But please, don't delete that first one. Don't because, okay, I've gotten this one right now, go and delete the first one. Bring them into your system. Name them. First one, please always name your files. If this is my laptop, this is one of my laptop. If you check here now, take this side now. You see this desktop, this document, download, music, picture, all of them. That What is as written? That's what they have. My desktop, if you check my desktop, the only thing I have on my desktop is the files I copy from this guy now. Which immediately after now move them to where they belong. Because when you are editing and you move a file away from its original folder to another place, you start from the beginning. Anywhere you keep your file. Because if you are um, if you are a trainer and you do it every month. You, must, you, you have some intros you use every time. Please keep it to where, unless you want to reset your system, you want to back up, and hey, you can move. But keep it where nothing will ever touch it in the next two or three years. Keep it there. That you don't have any reason to say, I want to clear my desktop, now move everything. When I see people, I saw one system there that the desktop is dirty like that. I see that. Dirty. It's, it's dirty. You know, I don't like it. When I open my laptop and I see this one here, I don't start looking. That's why I wrote this thing here. I want it to be seen. When I open my system, the first thing I want to see is creative. Then, okay, if you want to read, start from the beginning. 
to keep your file, keep your desktop clean, keep your file organized. This is how I organize my files. If you can open folder now, this is my folder. This is document now. If I open my document now, you see that everything here is document. Download. Those are the things I downloaded. Music. You can't see video inside. You can't see a video inside here. Inside my music, you can't see any video here. Voiceover, you see where the voiceover, everything, African soundtrack, cozy song, or the blue blue song. Everything. Is if you go here, it's music. So when I want, when I'm walking, I want music. Bam, click there. Now that I'll start opening folder from one folder. Ah, I think I dropped it in that folder one or folder two. You start looking for it to you wasted ten minutes looking for sound. Looking for where you put your sound. Even if I download it, I will move it to this. Since I live in my download, and since I might not be needing like all those BLT files, all those things, some little applications that I'm not really, don't matter. Now, this music, go to picture, everything here is picture. Everything here is, it, as so far as image is not moving, doesn't play sound, is static thing. You need to be there, organized, even on your phone. Organize there. Then, second video, see that everything here is video. And they are all named accordingly. So once you can get this right, after shooting your video, go to your system, copy it, go to your folder, name it, save it. So that when you are editing, nothing will interrupt you because I, I made a mistake. I'm a product of self train. I train myself before I I said, okay, I know, I want to know more. Started going for training, traveling, gather more knowledge. I suffered. Have you worked for three days when it's time to render your hard disk for? Because you want to carry something like this. Now, hard disk is not for. And you told them that, ma, the video is ready, I'm bringing it. You just click the render, you know, start looking. Or just remove one flash because you copy, you want to copy a sound from flash. You now copy it from flash to your project and start working after you finish okay safe okay the guy said guy i beg i need a flash you collect you just remove it bam you go your room file missing that's what you get you now start copying relinking starting all over again keep framing everything you've done you now start starting again it's it's a pain in fact sometimes when that thing happens to me you know what i do i close my laptop because I've destroyed my laptop before I hit P. I never knew the addicts was there. And this was real. And that was the end. Everything. It's very frustrating. So to avoid that, keep your file safe. If you want to use a file, somebody give you a flash, please. There's an image inside that um, flash. I want you to add it from the beginning of the video, or you want to add it, please. Put first, open, copy, go and put it there. Then remove the flash first so that you'll be sure you're not taking from the flash. Remove the flash first, take, then start your work. Then render. Always get back up. It's important. Always have back up. Even human being packs up to close up the step. Please, always get back up. I have two addicts. Anything inside this laptop is there. Always have back up. So let's go in. So. I want us to use this in a, there's a video here, I want us to use as an example. First of all, uh, we want to get my soundtrack. This is program, sorry. This uh, project, don't worry, I just name it JLVAG. You can name it. Name your own. Once you open it, please, let's go. If you have it open. Okay, all of you are open for it. Thank you. Students. So, once you open it, it's written here already. It post media here. You can start here. You can double click or please don't double click. Go look for it. Open your folder. Go right now. Go to my music. One of the difficult things for me is to look for sound, to get the sound I want to use. Uh, I'll start playing 
I'll start playing all the sound one by one. Oh, I hope you can see them. Please, please, don't lose them. I'm actually looking for those. This is the song I want to use. This is not what I want. Um, this is not what I want. Go to my all sound effects. Then I have my sound here. Yeah, I have some. Okay, this looks like what I want. And please, when you, anytime you find free data like that, that in case your data will expire tomorrow and you don't have anything, you have four gig left. This by tomorrow night they will remove it. Please go and download some tracks. Yeah. Go to YouTube. Download soundtrack even when you don't need it. Just download and keep. Download all those things and keep. So this will be like what I want. This is what I'll do. Stop it. I'll drag it like this. Watch me. Drag it. Put it inside that project. Can we see it? Yes. Drop it there. Now, the reason why I did not double click to go and search for it is because I want to play the sound first. I want to hear the sound before importing them. This is what I'm talking about. Click When you click on this project now, it will open up. It will take you to music. Uh, look for all sound effects. Sorry, all sound effects, sound. Now, here, yeah. if I want to play now, if I double click, it will import it straight. Are we together? If I don't click now, it will import it straight. Unless I will not be right clicking. I'll be playing one one. Okay, this is not what I want. And that's okay. And this is done. I'll not play this one again. Okay, and that's the open. It will still bring it here. We get. So, <coughs> now we have our soundtrack. Now we have our soundtrack. We now choose what kind of video are we going to do. Where are you uploading it? Let's import our video. The video we want to use. Uh, Viola. Okay. This is the video we want to use. This is the take one. This is the take two. This is the take three. Okay, starting from here. Sir. So I don't know which one is right. Because I will never delete anyone. Copy all. I'll copy all. I'll copy all here. I'll bring them in here. Just give it time to import. So this process, please don't interrupt it. Don't interrupt it. This is what you hear. Don't interrupt. Let it finish. And once it's done, you look down here. It's generating backup for it. Allow this process to finish. You might not see it on your own, but once you import, don't start immediately. Just give it time to generate the path. Once it's done, come here again. Um, you see? You can, you can drag and write like this. See what I did? Create a folder. This icon here, we all know, is signifies a folder. So when you click on it to show you being, name it. I want to name it video because I want to organize my project here. I don't want it to scatter. I'm looking for it. Name it. Then drag all the video inside here. As a professional, I don't do this. I just have to show you. Normally, what I would do is just bam, drag the three, drag them into a folder, all of them automatically there, and I will just say tracks. That's all. But let me go back. Proper thing to do. How it works is click tracks or whatever you want to name it. We get. Now, let's go back. Can you also use cut and flip? Eh? To cut? Yes, of course. 
Let's go back. Let me undo everything. Okay. Let me undo everything. You can as you, once you highlight all of them, you can do control X. X X. And uh, open this, then control V to come there. There are many ways you can do it. So once it's done. Once it's done, go back. Now it's time to create our sequence. You see, this is timeline. There's no sequence in the timeline yet. So create new. When you come over here, please, whenever you're working, take note of the shortcuts. Okay. This is magic. It's just a large rupee. You don't understand. Oh. <laughs> There's a key under your escape. Boring, <laughs> see, there's when you click on this box now, you see here, your own might be yellow, yellow outline. It might have a yellow outline, it might have depending on the version you're using. Once you click there now, there's a, a key that looks like dots like this under your escape button. When you hit it, it will magnify that size for you to enlarge it for you. So when you hit it, freeze again. This is what I mean, like now, you see. So anywhere you want to, like here yeah, now. So, do we get it? It's not working. Are you sure that key, key is working? And sometimes it depends on the kind of uh, the language of your key. Are you using US or UK? So, we have everything set here now, but there's something we've not done to start editing. We've not created our sequence. What is sequence? Sequence it simply means in line. The normal English now is to put something accordingly. Uh -huh. So it's to where we arrange everything, where sound, it's to show you where sound will be, where video will be, where everything other thing will be. But Premiere Pro gives you a lever to arrange all to how many, all to, all to 1,000 layers as much as you can do. The Premiere Pro they're using a different model. Most of those arrangers mm -hmm. that you see, they do after you pay them, bring it here. There's no magic. It's this software. So it's larger than your, you can imagine. You can use it to do everything. So even till now, I don't, I've not used it to its maximum usage. Because you can actually do anything you want to for video is concerned here. So here, to create our sequence, this is what you do. Come here, go to file, create new. You see new, just follow that new, 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 new. Uh, I wanted to tell you something before. When you are working, take note of shortcuts because it will make your work fast. I'm going this process because I want you to learn. Normally, I'll just skip back. I customize my own shortcut. I'll just hit a button and this will be done. You see, create new. Sequence is Control N. If, I, if you hit Control N on your keyboard now, it will appear. You create a new one. Name it. If you want to create, if you want to close this in now, so if you want to close close your uh, your whole work, whether you save or you not save, you want to be a devil to yourself. Click this guy, Control Q, and there the mic is close to Control A. So if you have a long nail. You close your work and you start the way. And the beauty of it is that it will not save for you because it's quit. Control quit. It's not it quit. Everything just close. So that's why my one it talks. Formerly yeah, I broke it down. I'm sure some of you will be down. We can choose to put it anywhere and arrange it anyway. So let's go to sequence. You see it's control and take note of those things. This one is control uh, to save control S, save a copy. Like want to after saving, you want to save another copy somewhere else. Then you control, uh, control shift X. That plus means this and this. You understand? Yes. As you're working, take note of those control keys. So here is control N, which is sequence. So we just go to our keyboard and you see. This is where the control N. Control N. This will appear, and this is where we now choose, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, do I want to do Instagram video? 
but no, there's nothing like Instagram. Let me show you anything Instagram. <coughs> there's no physical setting. Remember, I showed us this. That was the reason why I displayed this to us. Let me move for clean up. This is the reason, this is where you need this size. Now. This is, if you have it up here, if you have it in your head, you don't need to do the everything. Now this is 18, um, 1080 by 1080, which is Instagram feed. We want to do an Instagram feed video now, okay? So let's go back. Go to setting. This is setting. If you see your you see a different mode. You go up, pata pata, customize. Once you say customize, you see here open. Here becomes editable. The frame size becomes editable. But let's just say we we'll go. Uh, let's use a uh, uh, one of the popular camera. Let's use Red Cinema. automatically set for itself. So but then we want to customize. We want to use our own. And it's 1080. Then 1080 by 1080. Take every other thing. Every other thing here is good. Every other thing here is good. So just hit OK. Did you see the size? Who understand what I did now? Please, this is practical. I want once you leave here, you'll be able to work on your own. Apart from trophy, right? Mm, the only trophy that used to call me where well, well. the other one they used to send job. So this is what I've done. I say, ah no, I do. So I want after now to be able to work. If you are calling me for anything, say uh, just for correction, okay, this is what I did, is it okay? I'll say okay, add this and add this. This is this video. If you upload it to Instagram, you don't need to crop. You don't need to click that icon, that crop icon. Like okay, let it fit. You don't need to. It will go. It's the normal size. Eight, uh, 1080 by 1080. That's the size. So it's, this is Instagram style. Now this is another place you have issues. You bring in video. This video was shot in 1080 by 1920, which is full HD. When you bring it in here now, boom. It will ask you keep existing setting or change to this. Because the software recognizes that the video you are bringing in is not the size of the video. Say no, is this sequence I set here that I want? Keep it, say, keep it for me, Joyce, in your video. This is what happened. You see? And the reason why this guy is animated is because when I was shooting this video, I had the mind that I'm using Instagram. So the, I positioned the guy at the middle center of the camera. Do you understand? Now, if when I was doing the video, the guy is by the side like this, and I bring this video here, and it's only the shot, the guy show that I will show. You get? Because I had the mind of what I'm using the video for. Now, I can also use this video for normal YouTube 1080. This is. What you do now? Let's because this guy is too cropped in. We need to give him more space. Come on, that's not what we want to do. This is where your effect control. Everything here is controlled here. You notice here was blank before, but once you bring in something here, here automatically activate. Knowing noticing that something you need to work on just came up. So here there's something they call scaling. When you say scaling is like increasing something or reducing or whatever. Go to your scale. It's at 100%, which the video is 100%. Okay, so let's try, let's reduce it. You see? It's the more we reduce it, now we we'll have white bar, a uh, black bar. Sometimes you might not want to upload your video like this, black bar. Sometimes you might want to make it white. But this is what me, I do to add beauty to it. Because it's Instagram, and I want my full video to come out there to also maintain the quality. 
Now, when shooting this video, if, if I will advise you, don't go and shoot in your camera. If you're using professional camera, you can actually set the frame rate of what you want to shoot. You can set it 1080 by 1080 and shoot it, and it will come. Once you put it here, it will fit without asking any questions. But I will advise you, shoot higher than what you want to edit. So that when you break it down there, you still maintain details and quality. Even your phone, even some phone now, you can go to your camera, video setting, it, you see 1080 or 720. Please always shoot 720. Because at the end of the day, what you're giving Instagram is 720. You're bringing down. So imagine you shot 720 and still, after editing all the whole thing, you're still rendering down. So it's just like, okay, I mean, it's better to bring down than to resolve. Quality, low quality sound. I've had cases of people sending me one low quality video saying, Can you make it sharp for us? Make it and it's dead, it's dead. It was low, it's low. You get there's no you can't resurrect a dead video. It's blurry. You have to get it right DFS. You get it right on your camera. Let the lights be okay. Okay? On the phone setting, is it 1080 and 720? Which one is more preferred? Hmm? 1080. 1080. Yeah. 1080 so, is higher than 720. Okay. So it's better you use. Uh, when you are doing. When you are editing, 1080. 1080. When you are editing, of course. No, Instagram doesn't okay. take 720. Uh, 1080. Okay. Instagram, you cannot. Okay, but it's always advisable to maintain, maintain 1080. 1080. Okay. Shoot 1080, then you can edit with 720. Of course, when you shoot 1080, when you are editing here, you are also editing 1080 by 1080. But when you're shooting on that camera, that thing it is showing you this 1080 by 1920. Now, let's let's particularize something now. Let's go back to our sequence setting. Remember, we set it before. We can also change it back. Let's go here and set it. Change it uh, 1080. Let's set it 1920. 1920. I'm going to hit. Let's go back here and turn it back to, you know, it was 100 before. Sequence of things. What to be Story. Who remember that story? Mm -hmm. Now, do you know what you do? Here? This is what some people will do. After they click here now, you know that. For you to achieve this, and this guy still maintain that position from the beginning of the video to the end, that means there must be a spot, you know, stand, mm -hmm. and you shooting the first thing you are you that is talking to the camera, you must maintain that. And you are equal to picture. It's not advice. You are almost, we can call you a photograph that the mouth is moving. But the beauty of video is okay, you are talking, your hands are moving, your body is moving, even if you are not dancing around. But you can move your hands. Talk. So, what do you do? And there's a tip I'll give you on recording with your mobile phone. You have earpiece, right? This is what I used to do. There was a time I never, I, can't, I couldn't afford this mic here. This mic, you can put it on your camera, then fix it yourself. It's a gun mic, we call it gun mic. It's directional, whatever happens behind doesn't concern you. It's you. Anyway, it face is what record. So I couldn't afford this mic then. This is what I did. I was using iPhone 4. I brought this thing like this. I cut it off. I cut it off. Look at this video. This is an old video. This video is almost three years now. 
Look at that clip there. I brought office clip. Office. Put it inside this guy's clothes. I clip it there. Then I take this direct to my phone. I put it in his pocket. I pull record. And record, record the audio. To record the audio. If I play the audio for you, no mic in this world can give you that sound of voice. You know why? This thing is designed to pick your voice. Why is it that when even in the market that crowd are shouting and you still, hello, the person still hears you? It filters your voice away from the crowd because that's the way your mobile phone, your cell phone are designed. Before earpiece, what I do is that if you have, I'll tell you to wear a shirt like your kind of shirt now. I put my phone in your pocket. Let me show you a video like that. I can't remember so that. When I tell you that I suffered, <laughs> to, to say, no, no, no. Because I couldn't afford those things, I was just practically. Well, how much is this camera? Sorry. What? They're not of. The prices are not. Mm -hmm. This is a gun mic. This is a gun mic. But I advise you to get a um, road mic with 40 to 20. 21 to 40 dollars, you can get one. Road mic. Road mic. Road mic. Gun mic. Just type of a gun mic. You will see things. Many of them. I'm trying to dig out a video from here. I'm trying to dig out a video. Okay, why this one though? There are a lot of videos I've done like that. Pro as in, big, big people. What I do is, when I get to the location, I look at the AC. Ah, if I off this AC now, this man will shout. We'll be sweating. The makeup will mess up. Okay, okay. I said, sir, can I put my phone in your pocket? So can I? Why? Say, it's a, I'll not tell you it's a mic. I said, it's something. I just want to take it. Okay, okay. So I'm getting a problem. That iPhone, there's an application called the same road mic. People they have an application called Road. Called Road mic. They have road oh mic. They call. Uh, they call. They call it road mic also. There. So I, I downloaded the trial version of it. It will not give you access to a date, but at least it will record. Now go and edit myself. So I put it in my pocket, and the audio is awesome. You can't. Uh, I don't know why I can't find that video. I'm trying to check one video that I did with that. Let me go through. Uh -huh. Ah, example this. Example is this video. Where is it now? This video, I, you remember who did this video now? Like, can you see yourself now? Okay. Okay. I use that mic, that phone, because there is no way I could place it on my body. I not place it on the camera. I place it on the camera so the mic was showing up. That's why you could hear this. The room. But if that mic was to be on her, you wouldn't hear anything. You wouldn't hear anything. I'll keep it up to it. Can you hear this audio? Growing up, my mother introduced me to the amazing world of religion. It's not even and as a body, young mother, love. I look forward to doing things. But studies recently have shown oh, that the only thing I'm saying is to show you that the mobile phone you are holding can do beyond what just to receive a call. It was on a hand. It bit to reverse the situation. I don't know. I don't know. And, and what I had a day, I was just with my camera. She told me to go. Please, I need this video. I need to send it. I said, I don't have anything here. Okay. I have my phone and the camera. Okay. I put, it was even one techno that I was using that time, it was not even the iPhone, it was a techno phone, it was Android, just put it on flight mode, so that call will not come in and send me to travel to, push record, it's okay, you know what, as you sit, just put that phone like this, you can see it's fine, let it light on it, and then you can talk, and I use it to record the audio, and then sync later, I'll show you. It's the audio from the phone. You are hearing. Yeah. That's what I used to oh, replace the audio from the camera. Interesting reading books. You can hear how it sounds. So, 
you must not wait until you buy that uh, professional, professional boom, mic. boom mic or this one before you start. I've shot a whole wedding before with now this is my phone just uh, four months ago. Full wedding without phone. What happened? I got to the wedding and I noticed that the camera there's no SD card. The SD card was my laptop because I'm used to putting it here to copy something and I forgot, left the laptop at home, went to the reception with just phone and the camera. On the camera, shoot, hey, who cut? My laptop, I did not bring it to. You know what I did? I put my phone on the camera. I use that. Uh, if you take my bag, it's always this kind of stand, only the head. I put it there. They thought I was using it as a preview. Because if I, who would invite you to come and shoot this wedding? You are carrying food and, and they will pay you balance. Will you? I don't know. So I just put the phone there with the camera like this. Make sure it was on. The, okay, ah, this guy is doing a good job, doing everything. That was, was that phone I used to shoot the wedding from the beginning to the end. To put it on flight mode. And when the video came out, wow, five. Let me go edit it. Which phone? It's uh, MC's. Okay. That's what I used. Of course, everywhere is colorful. Yeah. The people are dancing. You won't even notice. Forget the phone is shooting 1080 already. Lighting, it's just that I will not have depth of all those depth and everything. But I will do the fake one that you don't know. It's just that I will not show my friends. <laughs> you go and watch it to your family after all people don't do video in your house. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> so that is that is the difference between somebody who. Uh, there's something called DIY, do it yourself. We, I did it myself to that level. So, for me to be stranded in that kind of thing, even if I don't have my phone, I'll be some, I'll look somebody, look at somebody, I have a good phone. Tell you, please. If I'm buying iPhone X tomorrow, I'm not buying it to use as a call. That phone is a powerful phone. If I have it, I'm not using it to call. In fact, I might not even put it. I'm using it to shoot. All I just need to do is to buy again when to it. If I buy a stabilizer to it, I can go to it. I'm done. I've gone to plenty of events before that. I'll just come with uh, not my T5i. I'll just come with only T5i. I'm not carrying tripod or anything. Where are you? Are you shooting? Yeah. And you know, see another, another guy. Bah. 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 Everywhere. Full. Man. Zoom. Zoom. I mean, I have only T5i with 50mm lens. That's my favorite lens. 50 mm lens, and we are looking like me like when the job now come out, there's no one who can to play. So, doing it yourself is very important, and knowing use that thing too until it's used. Use it so using your earpiece to your phone, and when you are recording, this is another thing when you're using your phone to record, you know there's a distance, and you're inside a room, so it's better to record outside because there won't be your voice is not bouncing, but there won't be echo than to record indoor. If you are recording indoor, make sure you have two phones, one recording your voice and one recording the video. We'll do a little uh, practice. Here. Let's get two phones. One person with earpiece and one person with uh, just one. Let's record now. Let's just start the practical to edit. Mm. One to know. I need a very, where's my phone? Okay. I don't want to use my own so that it will be like, see if I have a, let's use somebody's phone here. Somebody should donate. For video? Yes, for video. Okay. okay. Bring your own. We we'll use one for. Mm -hmm. We need another one for audio. Okay. Open your recorder, audio recorder. Open your audio recorder. And this is what I want to do. I'll pick someone there to talk. And I'll be interviewing you. Then every other person on this road will still be talking. So who on this one, please? Unlock it and Yes. 
Uh, and there's something bad we do with our phone. We zoom. Please, instead of zooming, bring it close. Because when you zoom, this you reduce details. Don't zoom. Bring it close, or you move close. So. Uh -huh. So. Uh, normally a, a light should face you. I would advise you buy this uh, table light, all those table light that you can move the head. Mm -hmm. So when you put the camera like this, let the light be, don't let it be in front of, don't go and put light here. Your camera is a full light here. No, let the light be behind the camera. Then spread, don't let it be too close so that only your face will not be bright, everywhere dark. No, take it five bit. let it just spread on you. Just see you. Do it in a way that shadow will be there. So, like now, um, this is what we'll do. Don't use your, don't zoom on your phone. No, if, it, if it's a camera, if it's a camera, you can zoom. If you can't get to the stage, you need to cover them. Don't zoom, go closer. Yeah, he's if you can't go close, move closer, or you bring them close, you bring them or them. tell them to come close, you want to zoom them. <laughs> okay, so. You know, the audio has been recorded since. I hope you didn't stop it. Intentionally allow you to record since. So, this is what we do now. Um, it's recording. We need you to talk. Just tell us, tell us your name. Hold on, before you do that. Tell us your name. My name is Ia Kredola. Um, my name is Ia Kredola and I'm um, a fashion designer. Okay. I wanted to learn this class because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector in general. Mm -hmm. And it's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to empower myself to do more in the media field. Mm. Okay. So we successfully done 23 seconds interview and everybody else, okay? It's only how we need, so let's go. Save. Yes, what do you need? Please, I need an active Thank you so much. That's fine. You'll be sick by I think i Okay, please let's pay attention. Are we here together? He's not seeing this phone. No. You did you not have change to, it. You have to. Uh, Android is on. 
میتونم چی یه یارو نفس بیشتر Don't worry, next time we use the Daiso. Okay. 
Okay, here is the video. Remember what to keep. And meanwhile, please just look at what I'm doing because next time, if you connect a TV or something to your system, Adobe doesn't recognize that one. It recognize your own laptop. So you need to go to your hardware setting and look for that TV. Go to your outputs, you see the TV. And then, what's this? Yes. So the sound can come out there now. Yes, just tell us, tell us your name. Before you do that, did you see that clap? You know the reason why I did that? No. Let's hear her. You can't hear her. Okay. Let's go back to the real audio. That audio. You know the audio has been recorded too. Yes. This is the audio. Okay. The real one recorded too. My name is Ian Kerry You can hear. How close are you? Now look at the one we recorded on camera. Now, let's match it. Let's see. That is where the work comes in. I'll need you to follow me right now because. <laughs> follow me. Okay, so once we reach here. On your keyboard, you see some a plus and minus sign. When when you press uh, press the plus, you see it increase. Open up. Press minus, it will come close. So just go right and keep your playhead. This is called playhead. That's a movie. It's called playhead. My name is Ia So keep your playhead on where we want to take the audio from. So we want to take it from where we clap. Because that clap is what you want to use to sync the audio. That was the reason why I did that clap. So, I'm sure you must, you must have been wondering in the movie, what is that thing they used to carry like this? Action! Pow. This is the reason. Okay. They write on it, scene one, half two, day shots on everything. Pow. So when the editor gets there, you see, okay, this is day one, okay, this is day two. And you use the audio to sync. That's what it's meant for. It's not for shadow. For editor to be able to relate because it's not there when they're shooting, it's that clap that will help that guy to sing very well. And the talk because he will listen, he will still say it and still clap. No, so now here, yeah, oh, you is a marker here. I mark in means I, you see that I mark out O. Oh. Always take note of shortcuts so. Once we put our player there, you can just click I to take from this side. We don't need this side. So you drag it, drag the audio. You see, there's no video. Drag video. Because there's no video there, so it's, it's not highlighted. Drag your audio, bring it down. Okay. Now, in prayer for there's no place to take this where voiceover will stay this way. This side, anything audio can stay down here. Anything visual can go down there, even if it's picture, text, anything can stay up. You get? So, now this is, we'll now drag this one down. Drag it down. Look. Ah, okay. Let's play it again, that place. Well, no, before you do that. Okay, that is it. Move your player to that place. Pa. Let it be on that place. Then. Is here. Drag the audio till just be dragging it until that two clap match. Drag it. Oh, oh zoom out. Is this the frequency? Or yes, the wave. Mm -hmm. The wave. Use your wave to sync. Because without wave, before you sleep here. Imagine this camera was mute. If this one was mute and that one is recording, you use lips. I can do that because I won't pay for the matter. Well, you, you will not be able to relate. That's why you need to watch a movie without audio. 
so that you can read their leaves. Because if this audio shifts, there's no imagine there's no wave. How will you sink it? What about the time? The time. You can't use the time to set because both of them did not start immediately. You understand? There's no way. In fact, if you like, say, okay, you hold your phone. Once I record one, two, three, go, I record your own. There will like still be micro. Like if on the audio, mm. yeah, she started with her name. Mm. And the audio might be maybe 14 seconds. Okay. While the video is on 12 seconds. Okay. So maybe you now bring the audio to that 12 seconds where she started. You want to set time for it? No, the time that is shown for the audio time. But this is not a clock time. This is based on what, this is time of the length. This is length. There's a difference between time and length. They are not the same. Clock is, this is a uh, few minutes. Or well, this is the length of the video. That is what you're showing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's no, you can use time to calculate. I the mean length. the length. I don't know if you are getting like the length on the audio. Yeah. Maybe the length is like at 12 seconds on the audio. On the audio, on the yeah. video, you want to also. Video too, so it will never sink. You want to sink it. It will yeah. never sink. Using if time. You're going to to, if you're going to arm figuring, if you're using the length of time and you want to sync the length of time, then of course you have to match 12 seconds to 12 seconds. Otherwise, you will have an extra. Even at that, it will not. Because it doesn't work on length and time, it works on wave. Because sound works on wave. What if the person was not talking? And I will now really count. And then finishes 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Instead of saying my name is so and so, I'm a so and so and so in 12 seconds. So, at so the, end the end speed of the, of the, the speed which she speaks is not the same thing with your own time. Mm -hmm. So that's why it cannot. That's why you need to also use wave. wave. So now, uh, let's zoom out very well. You see that it's equal. Yeah. So we don't need this side again. That's where this guy comes in. Your razor. Cut. Place your playhead on where you want to cut. Remember, I told you to leave space. Cut and cut two of them. Then go back. When you are touching anything, take note of the shortcut so that you won't repeat. This is V. When, once you click V, this activate. Then click this one, delete. Click and delete. How do you cut? You got to click or you, you click once. once on the mm -hmm. Yes, Wait. depending on where your timeline is, mm -hmm. click and it will cut. Click, cut the audio, cut the front too. So this is what you do. Click here again on this empty space and click delete. To take it back. Where it might not work if you place something there before. <coughs> if there's an image or something you place it before, it won't go. So what you do is highlight all, highlight all, and know that you sync this thing. So if you drag it one after the other, the audio will still shift. Mm -hmm. So you drag it to the end. Um, let's go drag it to the end. Then come back to the place, trim. <coughs> Did you see how I have trim it? Once you place your this mouse here, it's to show you either drag front or back. So once you conclude, Let's go, let's play it now and see. My name is Ia Kerejola. And <coughs> my name is Ia Kerejola. And I'm a fashion designer. See how? I wanted to join this class because Look at I'm not in fashion for video editing or the media sector in general. And you will never know I did anything record yeah. separate. And to be able to empower myself to know more okay, so. the media. Why did you drag the audio? Why did you drag the audio to align? Is to sync. Now this is what I do. I've not finished. I've not finished now. See, this is the original audio from the camera. Let's mute that one we recorded with um, earpiece. This this one is one we recorded there with the earpiece. Now this is the audio from the phone. Did you hear it? Now? Okay, let's mute the one from the camera. I mean, open the and, um, this earpiece. I want to learn this class because I started fashion from the That dragging mm. further explains what he was saying about timing. 
That is why I clap. It will not match. Yeah, it won't sink. Mm. I understand it's sink. Mm. Mm. My question was that at the point where it sinks, we drag it back. Mm. Yes, because we don't need this side. Let me return it. So you drag this is the essence. When you drag it, it yeah. cut off all of that. Yes. So it starts off from like yeah, okay. so There are two ways to do it. It's either you press your C, okay. all right. cut, okay. also cut. Uh, cut, and delete it through it away. You don't need it. We don't need it. Okay. Now, sir, under what circumstances will we will not have that synchronization? Well, mm, if you use both device, they're using so far, audio record at the same frequency. Both the phone, even if it's camera, they all record on the same frequency. When you bring it in, for example, if I go to speed this audio up a little, nothing can ever make it sync. It will not sync. You need to bring both of them up and make sure you have something from the beginning, before the person starts talking, that you will use to sync. Either from the beginning, this clap travels and it's very sharp. Because it's very sharp, it creates that high along wave that you will use to sing. That's why we advise clap. So once you do clap, the two camera, the both the camera and the audio okay. recognize they will pick the audio. The same wave. Okay. Alright, my question is um, kind of taken up from where this happened. Okay. Mm. That you cut off. Yes. I just want to understand how it came about because is it like the record audio record was not stopped at the time? Where she yeah. You know what? What I did? I started that one first. I started that audio first. I started that one first before I came to set this one, and I stopped this one before going to stop that one. So that that one is longer than this one. T S L. So that's actually. So what we do? We don't need this audio from the camera again. We don't need it. So what you do is hold down your, uh, or click on it, and you switch off the light. So then right can click. We, I don't know if it's okay. well, can we play the two audio together and see? Yes. It will sound the same thing, but we don't need it. Okay. This is play together, you see. My name is Ia Kerejola. You hear one sound? Mm. Yes. Let me increase the volume. My name is Ia Kerejola, and I'm a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector in general. And it's a great okay, yeah, to be here yeah. and to be able to empower myself to do more in Wait, the me. media field. Okay. So, let's go back. Yes. 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 My name is Ia Kerejola. See that sound? Because um, this one was recording yeah. more of. I Ambience than sound. Video you understand? So that's why we don't need it. We need to take it away so that it won't spoil what we are doing. Just the best way to delete audio, click on it, right click, you see on link. Bam. Once you unlink it now, they are not the the them. Disconnect them. Then click on it and delete it. They came together. Every video has an audio. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back from the top. From when we sing. Okay, this is Ma, please. This is what we did. This is the video. Let me delete it. Let me remove everything. Nothing is here. Okay? Nothing is here now. So we've already imported the video inside our pro um, project. It's in here already. So you drag it to your timeline inside your sequence. It will ask you a question, do you want to maintain it or you want to change it according to the sequence here? But no, we don't want to change it. We want it to be the same way it is. Keep the existing. Okay, now you click here, go to your program, um, sorry, effect control. You see scale, it's at 100%, which is the original size we imported it from the camera. So, what you do right now is scale it down. 
scale it down so that these people can show. Unless you want to increase it, like you don't want to. It's already at 200 on top. But we want to bring it down like this. We want it, this is how we want it. So now, this, remember this video still have the audio. We need to record it. Just tell us, tell us see, because I'm closer, my voice is well, louder. When it gets to your own now, you see. You see? But we had yeah. one closer to you, which is the earpiece. The one we recorded on your phone. Okay, go look for it. We brought it in also, which is here. Look at it here. This is the audio. You see it? Remember we clap. Mm. That's the clap. So place your play head. This is called play head. Because as it's moving, it's playing. So you cut this side. You take only this side. Or let's do it in a very way. Maybe it's that one that is. You just drag it again. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I want to take it from the beginning so you understand. Well, it will drag the audio down here. You see that they were not recorded at the same time. One is longer, the audio is longer. So what we'll do now, we'll drag this video to here. Based on the wave, look at the wave, that place will clap. Play it now. Need you to talk. Just tell us, tell us your name. Okay. Let's split to them at the same time. We need you to talk. Just tell us, tell us your name. Hold on, before you do that, my name is Ea Kerry Jola. You see, it's not seen. It's just plain anyhow. Let's sing, please. Drag this one. Look at the wave. Please, always look at wave. That's why you need that clap to sound very enough. So, yeah, record. You can do like this. You know, record. Let it be sharp. So that the wave will rise. To enable you to sing. It needs to be sharp. That needs to be sharp. If you can't clap where hit something on the table or bring two plates together, why? Let the wave rise. Because you need the wave to rise. <laughs> for it to rise. Oh yeah. Drag it. Drag it. As you're dragging it, zoom out. Drag it until you smash. You see? Is it much now? Yeah. Well, let's play it now. Um, my name is Ia Kerejola. Can we hear two voices? And um, it's one. It's okay, designer. what happened when I do this? I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector. We have two voices. And you see, it's, it's not sync. I've, I've shifted the audio now. It's not sync anymore. It's not sounding like echo. Okay. So, so. Is this is so what? Two, two, two That's another way to create. You want to create echo, like normal African magic goes. Ow, 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 key, 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 key. Just make the audio different. Then give me a gavel. We'll be killing, 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 killing. We go. So. <laughs> so let's go back. Look at this place. You see the reason why it was echoing? Because it no longer sync. Let's go and sync. First of all, this is where your job starts from. Where your syncing starts from. If it's like this, this is where you get it. When you get power, like that, it's not sync. You need to sound as one. If it's not sounding as one, my name is Ia Kerejola, and, and my name is Ia Kerejola. Okay, let me not do this to you. Hello, dear. Can you hear me? Hello, dear. Can you hear me? Now, that's what happens when you play yourself back. It turns to another language. Now, sir. There are some gaps in between the waves. Yes, those so are the space. Lines, 
No, that is where he is not talking now. The wave, you need to go and study the wave. wave is not leveled. That is, she's supposed to have talk loud on this and that, but that's the one we understand where she, my name is Janet, you can even click on. She started with her name is loud, and then the other one she not came. So this wave describes how she was talking. The tempo of how she was. If she was shouting, my name is Mark, it will be the same thing. So, how did I play back? Play J, click J to take you back. Or I use that to play that. So, are you getting... Not automatically, but manually. manually. <laughs> There's nothing so automatic. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> automatic here. Yeah. 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 Huh? Well, you can only. Yes, it was linked by the wavelength from what was indicated on the screen. No, I'm about to show you that one now. Remember this one, this is the video that we imported, this one, this blue, royal blue or something. This is the one that came from the camera, and this is the audio. So that one automatically it came like that, just the way you were born with a voice to speak. This video was created with a voice. It came with audio, unless you use a tape and rubber band, mute the um, or remove your mic, your camera mic. That's when to never have audio. Yes, we want to unlink it. We want to throw it. We don't need the audio. I thought it was the two audios. No, no. We want to unlink this one now. We don't need it again. Yeah, the video audio. Yes, throw it away because we'll sing. Mm -hmm. Now, play. My name is Ian Kerejola. You see? And what we we'll successfully achieved here now is video from and here, um, audio from that place, yeah. from two different phones. I wanted to join this class because I've had impression. And with good audio. Now, if I now decide to work on this audio now, don't mind what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to be more. Let me say I want to work on this audio more. I want to make it more bad. So, in general, and it's a great opportunity to be here. If I, I tell you that I use wood mic to record that audio, audio, wouldn't you believe me? Now, if I'm, let me do so um, 23 seconds interview. Okay, so what you do right now is cut the SS away. Yeah. Cut the SS away. Now, let's go to the main edit, which. Follow me. No, you will get to hear that one. Later. Okay, open up. Remember when she was talking, she mentioned her name twice. And I intentionally made her say it twice. Let's go. My name is Ia Kerejola. And my name is Ia Kerejola. We don't need the first one. Now, but first of all, I prefer the first one. And my name is... Because nobody starts to realize, my name is... It's obvious we have to repeat it. That one did not come from me. So let's take away the second one. First of all, remember we unlinked the audio, the former one it came with. So we'll next link it back with this one. So that it will not shift along the editing. Link it back, bam, link with this one. So anyway, carry this video to now. Move with the audio. Okay. Remove with it. Anyway, carry it, remove with the audio. There's nothing you can do about it. Are we? Yes. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Are you? Is it boy? Anybody sleeping? Okay, the link. Remember the first one? We unlinked the audio that the video came with. Shortcut it. No, I'm not shortcut. I'm just control Z. I'm going back. I'm undoing everything I've done. Now, see this audio, this video. Because they, are, they didn't come together. See, if I play it, it's, like, here, it's, okay, it's not synced. And um, a fashion designer. Yeah, together. So let's make it together. Let's link them so that when we move the audio, they will not be moving individually. They will move as a clip. 
they are not acting as a clip now. This one is acting as a video, the other one is acting as audio. So we need to make them unite, we need to make them work together. That is why you need to link them together. Aya? Yeah, there's, we can also group. But one thing about group is after cutting, they will still be group, they will move. So that's why we need to link. So after you link them, if you still cut them, they are on their own. So now we've linked them, do you understand, sir? You need to highlight the two together. Yeah, you need to highlight the two together. You get? Even if you have 15 audios here, just click on the video and the audio you want to link and link them. There will be one. And this guy will not ask you whether they sync or not. He doesn't understand. It's you that know it will sync. It will link whether sync or not. It's your duty to make sure it's linked. So, let's remove the. We want to use this for the, the uh, first. My name is Ia Kerejola. Okay, we'll stop there. Click on your result tool. Cut. You see, I did not cut here. I did not cut immediately. I gave space. Cut. Then play with. And my name is Ia Kerejola. Then I cut again. Then I go click this one again. Cut this one, we don't need it. You want to switch here. Delete it. Then, and then we bring this one close. Back, we'll join it. So let's play it now. And this one is here. My name is Ia Kerejola. And I'm a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to link them. Or else you'll be cutting the visual and at the end of the day you notice that you render videos some side are not sync. Some side are sync. Please if you are confused, please ask questions, let's continue. I know it's boring, but don't worry. Okay. <laughs> some flat. Yes? Oh, exactly. It's very taxing. It's very taxing. Yes. You need to think. Make somebody think about Pandaria. Okay, so No, that's why you need to. You, first of all, you edit dialogue before the video. You edit your dialogue first. Are, are you confused? This is what you do. If your dialogue is not correct, the conversation. The conversation. You need to edit your dialogue first. Mm -hmm. And the way you edit your dialogue is by your listening and looking at the wave. After editing your dialogue, here, yeah, remember where we cut? Let's take it back. This place will cut. Look at it. Please follow me. My name is Ia Kerejola. You see, during this space, there's nothing there. And? And, and I also try to stop her. Oh, she not repeated it. My name is Ia Kerejola. This one sounds so forceful. I swear to you, yeah, say it again. We don't need it. And you also need to study a lot of communication. It's important. The way people talk is important. Because as an editor, you don't want to, because it sounds okay, that's it. The way they said it and the way it relates is important. Mm. If I had a opinion, I would just stop her, say, okay? Chill. Just make her laugh. Just, 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 just. Why the camera is still on here? Yeah, let's go. Okay, my name is. She will calm down, continue. Also, know where to speak up. Where it's supposed to pick up, don't go and put land into it. Now, we don't need to. Uh, I'm not looking at the visual, I'm not looking at the picture whether somebody move or not. That's not my problem for now. My problem is let the information be correct first. You get? So once. It's okay. My name is Ia Kerejola. And um. Okay. I don't want to hear proof. Let's delete it. Bring this one back. And please, when you are bringing back, don't let it climb. It must be here. And please, look at this to the, this magnetic uh, icon. This icon. See? If it's off, this is what happens when you are bringing it. It can climb. It will climb. It will not even show you any sign. But when it's on, when you are bringing it like this, it will stop you here first. Then you, unless you want to now forcefully put it on to stop it to show you this uh, this line 
That's the matter. You need to stop. Today, you need to stop. Then, if you now force, so yeah, let's go. Hey, it's not. Now, you cause some. Stop it, okay. So, when we play it now, look at it. Look at the video very well. Yeah, okay, I don't. You see that people. There's a jump cut. We call it jump cut. There's a jump cut there. So, those ones are not important now. A fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector in general. And it's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to... Look at this. That noise that you're hearing. I've had a passion for video editing or Look at the media somebody sector was in general. Out on there. And the other person it's a great was opportunity doing something. to be here was a, and to be able to allow myself there. to do more in the media mm -hmm. field. By the time you add soundtrack to this, that noise will blend into the soundtrack. Because our phone dialogue is loud already. But with this camera we use here, you can't achieve that. You see why sometimes it's good to record your audio separate. That's why filmmakers, you don't record the camera. They do have sound man who's recording the audio here. Then later we'll give and sync. That's why you can record near beach. The sound audio, will still, be audio will still be clear. Or someone is paying attention to the sound. So sound is very important. After you've done what Omar taught you, making it clear, facing the sound and everything, and we can't hear you. What's the essence? Your sound is very important. If possible, if you are doing live stream, use earpiece. Because that one is closer to you. Use earpiece. Or avoid noisy area. But don't stay indoor, it will be a cool. Or if, if you have to stay indoor, use the earpiece that will be here. So we don't need that side again. And that way, go to your razor tool, which you see, and cut. Anyway. My name is Ia Kerejola, and um, what do we do about the job? That jump cut, that's where you bring in your bureau. Your what? Bureau. What is bureau? Bureau is the same full statement we can use when we are when we are doing like your video now. After that, we can still bring the same phone mm -hmm. to come and take bureau. That time you say my name is. You take your shot from here like this. You take your shot. Your shot looking at that same place. I thought someone told you this. Mm -hmm. The bureau is when you're shooting an interview, hmm? <coughs> you take some clip by the person's hand moving. The person's wristwatch, another shot from this side. If you're using two cameras, you won't, you won't notice that thing. Another shot from this side, or another, a shot of the person looking at something, or you can put the person's picture up. My name is Aragoshala, then you bring the Aragoshala, the person's picture slide. When you put it on here, it's the person's picture that hide your cut inside the picture. Let me show you something. Let's imagine, let's bring in a picture from here. Okay. So let's imagine this a picture. After shooting the interview, she gave me a picture. I will have to collect it because I know I'll cut. You understand? It's like a color picture or graphic, so I'm not putting the picture here. Now the picture is too big. The picture is too big, so bring it close. Bring it close. So we're adding a little bit of fading and out. Go to your effect. <coughs> Type D. D I P. Fading or cross. Dissolve. Just look for cross dissolve. Drag it in here and out here. From the beginning and the end. This is what you get, and that is done. Watch. My name is Ia Kerejola, and I'm a fashion designer. You get I wanted to join this class. Did you see the jump cut again? Mm -hmm. Now it's now looking more interesting, like, wow, this is a picture. Maybe when she was small, put her a little. You know, 
small or she was trying to tell us, you know, um, last week some of them bought me pizza. She was she wanted to tell us about that. Can I show picture of her working in that place? Or can I actually do the video of her walking into some place? I had a little surprise to it. Instead of her just standing like this, my name is Ginecon. I came to enter her. I walk in. I will just listen to I will skip the video. Nothing is happening. Nothing else is happening. I'm tired of seeing her face. You can add graphics. Or write her name. Add text. On your system now, if you do control T, it will show you text. Just control T. You you quit? Why? You don't need to open it again. No. Just open it again. When you do a mistake, don't close it. Control Z. It will take it back. Or you delete it and start again. When you do control T, T, control T on your system, you see it. Yes, sir, right. What version are you using? What version are you using, sir? 17. It might not work. Is it working? Does it work for you? Since it's in. Control T. Try it. Let me see your screen, please. We need to privatize this. Okay. The color shows up. Now, remember your. We said. Okay, that's good. Remember you said it's 18. Uh, 1080 by 1080. You need to be sure. Look at that. You need to make sure it's the same thing as the Thank you. Okay. So here now, right now, you can type in text. Type in your text. Who is here? Is it the only one doing it? Alpha. Control T. Control T. Width and height. Did you set the penalty before? You've not created any sequence at all. Import any video. You don't have any video on that laptop. Import a video. No, you can't drag it folder here. Open it. Drag this to that place. Are we supposed to have a folder on him? Control T is what? What is what is it? You say like this. I want to change it. You say like this. I think I said it. Is it the time that you said? So, so we want to add text to it now. Hello, let's look at here. For those who don't have, you see this, this column will come up. New title. I'm sure this is what you saw, right? This thing will come up. Make sure it's the same thing with the, the same size. With what you said before, make sure it's the same thing. Once it's done, click. Now we want to add the text. Let's just see text. Bam. Our text needs to be here. Yeah, this is the font size. If you look down, if you look under here, there are a lot of font styles you can use. Choose from any of those. But if you don't like any of them, you can as well go to your font family. You see font family. Who can see this, please? If yeah. Confirm. If you can see it, confirm. Yes. Okay. Go to Font Farm. This is the name of the Font. To click down until you find the font you want. You can also go online, install font on your system. You can see it. Let me see. Why is it not here? Is it a picture? Are we on the same page? Uh -huh. Wow, good. So, have you put any video? Okay, drag it to the system. Put your play, drag it back. Drag it, drag it. 
So I have this control T. I have this. So once you add the text, choose any font family you want to use. Do it either. I don't understand it. Do it Okay, this is the font family. This is the font color I want to use. Yeah. This text now. One thing you need to understand is, uh, I remember she telling you about multiple colors in your shirt and all those things. This is where you survive. It. We have yellow here. We have red here. We have red, red. Now, which color will come out here? Black. Black will not come out. Shocking like white. Watch. Let's try black, like you said. This one is lost. Hmm? What is your position in the text? So, and because you want, you are looking for a good position. You want to write somebody in anger and put it at the middle like this. Uh -huh. There's something we call lower third. Huh? Yeah. Just go to five. New. Five. Okay, so now, now we discover that no color we use here now that I don't want us to use all those lemon, any color, any color that will be outside. Unless you like it, you can use it. But for me, I will use this now. So, I will end up using white. White, then we will create a background for it. Come here. You can draw any shape here. Rectangle, triangle, square, whatever. Let's choose this. Let's draw a square for it. Let's do it like this. And uh, let's make that shape black. Mm. Then reduce the opacity. Who understand what it means by opacity? Thickness of the, the thickness of transparency. The more, as you, the more you reduce it, the more transparent it becomes. So, and another thing you need to understand the rules of layer. This is the rules of layer. This is down, this is up. When playing, the up one shows and covers it down. Layer is like putting something on each other. So it's obvious that once you put something on um, the upper one, the down one becomes invisible. You will not see it. So here right now, we created this text, uh, this text first. So if you try to put it here now, it will be under. Because we created, we created it first, before this one. So normally what I do is, is, is either you delete it and create it again. But what I do is I cut Control X and Control V. It becomes or comes off. Is it confusing? You understand? Control X, then Control V. It comes back to the same position. Let's do it again. Now, it's down, it's under. So what you do is click on it and you right click. Uh, look for cut, then paste. You see now it's on top. You get it. So. Put it down, but don't make it too big. And there's this square here. Center. This will help you to position your text. So once you click on it, it will centralize it for you. Even sometimes your eye will tell you it's not centralized. But trust this guy. 
don't trust your eyes. Trust some of our eyes on it. Trust if you can. So when I want it to be center, center like here, I'll click this to be at the way. But that's not what I want. I want the center down. So I'll bring it down. I don't matter. Anybody can see this text now. If you delete that background, you see that we we'll have issue again. Mm. So that little background is making it All is easy gone. for us to see. It. That's why when you have multi colors like this, you have everything going on. Use background to separate it or make it transparent. Make it transparent because that's the first thing you make it. It brings beauty to it, and you can still see what is there. It's not that you are hiding anything there. So, once you're done creating text, before, I just look for where I'll click OK. Like, where I'll click OK to save it. Ah, just close it. Go back to your program. You know, video. Look at it here. You get? So, it's just the same way we did. Drag it. Put on top here. It will be like this, the same way you want. If when you are creating the test, you use the same size. If you don't use the same size, you won't find it here. You like to hide somewhere, or hide down, or up. But if it's the same size, exactly what you do, they will come here. So, remember how, how I told you, how you can trim. Just take the mouse to the edge, and drag it to, to this place, if you want it. This test to be here throughout the video. Please. That's because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector in general. And media throughout. It's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to empower myself to do more in the you media. Something. When it gets here. And to be able to empower myself to do more. Disappear. Because that's where we we'll stop. If we want it to stay till the end, drag it to the end. But we don't want it to stay for long. We don't want it to stay for long. We just want it to stay like this. Bring it down here. And go to your effect. Go to, you see, audio transition, video transition, video effect. Go to video transition. Click. You can do 3D, dissolve. There are a lot of them. Wipe, slide. OK, let's go to slide. Uh, click. Put this on. When you are putting transition, is at the end. Is at the edge. You put it. Hello. Put it at the edge. Drop it. Drag from here like this. See, drag. Hold down your mouse. Take it down. Here. So let's play this in our scenario. And I'm um, a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing. You can choose. There are a lot of them. Thousands of transitions you can choose. You can choose zoom. Zoom in and zoom out. What that is, if you are doing something, you are dancing your video, you want it to be funky. You want things to be happening. Not that you are saying something that people need to listen to you and you are using some distracting effects. On this kind of thing like this, now this is what I use. This is what I use. I'll go to dissolve. I'll go to dissolve. Close dissolve. Put it here. To come in gently and go. Fashion designer. I want to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing. You see it all, but it soon call attention. Not like when it comes like this. Let's go to dance. <laughs> a fashion designer. I want to join this class because I've had a passion for... You see that? You see the difference? That one is already calling attention. So, edit based on the mood. The same way you edit a music video. Um, it's not the same way you edit a prank work, email, or whatever it is. You're editing it too much. 
more chop, 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 everything into it. That imminent, oh, it's a slow, slow thing. We need to be in the mood of worship. We don't need to drag out of the spirit. Let it be dissolved and fade out. Use more of fading out effects. Slow, calm. Don't make me do it. People now, oh, what happened? Everything now. So right now, I want... Okay, how to end your video? For video editing or the media sector in general. And it's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to empower myself to do more in the media field. Let's assume that's the end of the interview. You don't just end it like this. Bam. I'm going to It will do you. Of course, we are still expecting that you will say something. So, click here. That cross is all that we brought here. By default, is the default um, transition. So once you click there, use Control D. You see to add to the video. Control Shift D to add to the audio. It's a default to every software, every Premiere Pro, whichever year. It's a default like it's a default thing. A default setting. Once you click Control D, anywhere you add, the anywhere you keep this player. Anyway, keep it. Remember, we add a zoom here today. Okay, let's play it now. I want to join this class because I've had. <laughs> let's imagine we want to change it. Just click on to D. Watch what happens here. That zoom is out. I want to join this class because I've had a passion for video. It's a default transition. Anyway, you play that um, head and it shows you this red icon. Once this appears, if you click on to D there, it will add that transition for you. Shift D to add to the audio. So let's play to the end and see what tra that transition does. So to do more in the media field. You already know that nothing. You're not expecting any other thing. That's the end. Scroll pass. Go to another video. We are done. That's cross dissolve. It's fading out. So remember the soundtrack we brought in that time? Let's go and look for the soundtrack. Sorry, you played a video too, sorry. Okay. I felt to do more in the media field. Okay. Okay, so this is the soundtrack we brought in. If you leave it and render this video, let's go. Look at this. See, the length of the audio is two minutes. Everything is two minutes. But the length of this video itself is like 15 seconds. So if you render it like the video will finish playing and the audio will still be playing. So that's why you need to cut everything in front. Show it away. You don't need it again. Cut, show it away. And then let's go back. Play it from the beginning. Other soundtrack. My name is Ia Kerejola. And, um, the soundtrack is a bit high, I hope that's too high, right? That is where you come to this audio clip mixing. So, this is number one. Sure to to this is her voice. This is her voice. And this is her track. So, you use this one. And to be able to empower myself to do more in the media field. My name is Ia Kerejola, and I'm a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing or the media sector in general. And it's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to empower myself to do more in the media field. Can you vary the volume of the soundtrack in the video? Yes, to yeah. go up and down, go up and down. Now this is where, this is where, the, that is where the key framing comes in. Okay, come over here on this. You can double click to open that, or you can actually drag it. You can actually put your player there. Once this is show, it means you can drag it up. Then you come here and you drag it down to open it for you. Once it's open, you see this line here. 
click on this pen. You see this pen? Pen tool. Click on it. Put pin. I want it to be loud here. I want it to be loud here. Take it off. Everything. Then put another one. Bring it down like this. I want it to be down here. Then when it gets here, towards when it's getting towards the end, let it go up again. Then when it comes down here again, remember that point you are putting. You are telling the software that when this thing gets here, let it go up. If you drag it up, it means the volume should be up. If you drag it down, it should be down. When you come here, let it go down again. So let's play it from the beginning. My name is Ian Kerejola. And um, a fashion designer. And you don't bring it down. Let it not be what's going on. I did fashion for video editing or the media sector in general. And it's a great opportunity to be here and to be able to empower myself to put in the media field. It will follow the frame. It will go according to the keyframing. Okay, okay. What is successfully done here is that you bypass the normal framing, uh, normal audio wave of the audio, the wave that came with it. You bypass it. You create yours. How it will go, how it will come by creating keyframe. Now, after you're done, remember this pen. You need to go and click another one, which is this. This one you can drag anything. The pen allows you to create. It's only that pen you can use to mark dots. Okay, from here, go up. From here, come down. From here, stop. Which is keyframing. You successfully keyframe this audio. So now. the main function of the pen is for keyframing. It's for keyframing audio. Yes, for audio. And no, not just for audio. When you want to keyframe video like that, if you want the video to go dark, up, dark. Right now, you just brightness. want its brightness. You want to control the opacity up and down. You can mm -hmm. use it. Keyframing totally. That keyframing is for many things. Okay, so it's not you will need it to in control. It's not limited for only audio. Okay. You want something to happen here, then don't happen there. Like when you're color grading, you want let there be red here, and when it gets here, let it be blue. When it gets another place, let it be yellow. You can use keyframing to do that. <laughs> to do those all the all those things. In my advanced class, I'm teaching how to change your dressing color. I've done it several times in church. Now I'll tell you to yeah, wear. My <laughs> bring, please, when you're coming, you come with a red shirt and you're not going to wear blue. I will change it. I say, ah, but I don't have this clothes in blue now. I'll change it. It's hard. need to go for confession now. So, and I'll we'll teach you more animation of text and everything. But basically, right now, this same keyframe, you can use it to animate your text. How you want it to be? Let me just show you a quick one on that. Um, let's remove this ones. The cross it off. We put here. Let me play. Designer, I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for. You just came up. Yes, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand why. So, let's click on it. First of all, anything you click on here is what you do here will affect. Make sure it's highlighted. Because if you can't highlight this one and you're doing something, you're looking at the text. Ah, it's not moving now. Nothing is happening. If I have that case of somebody calling me, answer. Hello, Mr. Justice. I added uh, one color to this. It's not working. I'm moving the thing. I'm increasing it to 100. I said, check your video. He said, yeah, the video is too big. Oh. I said, you've been increasing the video. Reset it. Go back to highlight the one. Not that you highlight this one like this. Mm -hmm. Because they have increasing things. Mm -hmm. I like the one. Whatever you highlight is what here affects. So let's go to let's go to control. Uh, panel. Then set a keyframe. Hello, watch. Mm -hmm. Set a keyframe between your position and scale. Mm -hmm. Set a keyframe between position and scale. You can see two of them, the two pin came out. Mm -hmm. So We'll drag them to this end. Let it that is from the beginning. Then here, we'll increase this test bit. Then the position will bring it back up. Then we'll come here. We'll bring this test down. Then we'll bring it small. Down and let it disappear. Then we'll drag this down. 
watch what happens. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing or, or the media sector in general. And I'm um, a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a part. See, just as everything we did, so we brought it all, everything is recorded into pick like that. That's the that work of this guy. Now, if I now decide, okay, come back. Passion food. You come back, come here. Say yes, more before you disappear. Yeah, let's go. I know. I wanted to join this class She's because I've had a passion much. for video editing or the media sector. The closer the key friend, the quicker the action takes place. Hmm? I, I never confused. It sounds more wrong. Huh? So the same thing you can apply it to the image. Let's can apply it to the image. The same thing the same key frame is. Let's remove this one. So Watch it. So why are you doing this picture? No, you don't need it. Now let's do this picture now. Click here. We want it to fade in and then slide out. Slide down. You can also go and take a slide effect, come and drop. But why go when I can do it myself? Click on the remember you must click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then let it come from here. Now you can just do position and take it down. This will get. Yeah, I'm Kerry Jola, and I'm a fashion designer. I wanted to join this class because I've had a passion for video editing. So basically, that's one. And once you've added your text, the same way you add your text here, the same way you add it say again. Arenda. Now you successfully created a, Insta, um, a video for Instagram. When you send it on Instagram, you don't need to click that uh, prop again. Go straight. So the same video you have here, you want to change it for story. Still go down here. Let's go back to our slide and look at the number. This one we want to use for story now. So, yeah. 1080, 1920. Let's go back there. Go to your settings. After you've rendered that one, I'll show us how to render now. Click on the um, sequence setting. Then 18, 19, 20. Just come here. 1920. Click. OK. Yes. You see? So, so the story? <laughs> Minutes. Let me just finish this. And uh, now, after this, I'm sure you're saying, oh, well, this thing is black now, this place is black. Uh -huh. If I wanted it full like that, why not record straight? That's why you need to record to one for the Instagram page, one for the story. And the one for the story, you can also use it for, for your main feed. Mm. Let's go back. After you've done that, to add beauty to it, for you not to just lie off like that, just do this. You can highlight the text and the video, drag it up so that there will be space under. Then go to your text again, lie your text. Just this other text. Uh, then you, remember, you see now the thing has changed. All this technology will not change. Something will happen there. Great. Go to your shape. Drag, click on shape, drag a white line down like this. Close it, bring that white line, put it on that, drag it to the end. This is what you get. Instead of it to just be black like that. Then, those are your text you're adding. You will not add, you will not add text on the video again. You will not add the text there again. You can now double click this. Remember the text, we created the text based on the former yeah, frame. Yeah. So now what you do is, you have to clear this whole keyframe. Clear everything. 
play everything. How to play it, click on it. Tutorial, are you sure? I say yes. Me that you can play. Bring it down. See now it's there. So instead of what we did before, putting background, now it's on white background. We are not confused again. You cannot choose to make it black. Now you can make any color, you can even choose your red. It's there. I mean, you can add all your text here. Add any other graphics up. You're good to do a story. And when you want to upload it, it won't ask you to crop. You don't need to crop anything, just straight. You can go on Facebook, anywhere, any social media. So um, another thing I didn't tell you is, if you discover a mistake, an error on this text, you need to correct. You don't, you don't need to delete it to create another one. With all the keyframe you've done, everything, just double click. Just double click on it. It's over and I say, oh, it's not text, so just double click on it again. Ah, this is not supposed to be F, so it's supposed to be F2, so, or oh, I'm done. Just, I like it's on level F, then click again. So, any question? No. Yeah, plenty, I know. Please, let's take the question now to that. Any question before we render? Please, let's ask question. If you're not on the platform, please let me see. Okay. saying you don't have to do that is because if you already know what you want to use you can double click and pick it but if you don't know you just want to listen to the sounds then and just search. go and find the sound first before like here if you click now that it will take you to the sound that it will take you to your folder from here you can browse around you can look open folders okay choose this the feature i want to use to bring it here for you that's what you did, which is okay. I want to know. I want to do. She wants to know how you can just <laughs> you want them double click click and to just import no, straight. Because, but I just want okay, to this is the one again. I want to use this. Uh -huh. This, so this has a job. Just drag it down there. Just Just drag it. Once you open it, it's open on the side. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Any other question? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, like intro. Yeah. Yes, you can create intro for yourself. Or like in our learn edit videos, intro, you see something like uh, where is that thing? Like this video now, you guys, you have a tool. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I'm charging through before anything happens. Ochiko Momo, happily married in spite of their religious difference, she's been able to maintain a gut. Now, okay. that intro, that intro was done in After Effects. You can get someone to do it for you. 
or you can actually learn to do yours. I think recently Mr. Dyer has been after four years, he was successful, you did one. Last <laughs> week. <laughs> I intentionally allowed him to. After four years. After four years. Okay. <laughs> Successfully did one. So you create it. Once you want to edit, no, after, no, before editing, no, like, no, let me show you that quick one. No, no, no. A quick one. To add your intro, move. Uh, let's pay attention, please. That one is very important. Group. You, you know what I did now? Let me show you back. Click here on this piece. This piece is highlighted, and that's where you're working. Control A. Move everything like this. Small. Move it. Then go and look for that your intro. Uh, now, go and look for your intro. Uh, if I open Learn Edit, where is our intro? This is Learn Edit intro. I'll bring it here. Okay. This video, I have to wait for it to load. So once it's done, you double click on it first so that to play on your source monitor then click okay this is how i want to play so so drag it don't i want both the audio and the i want both the audio and the video if i want only video i'll drag this one only the video you see that the audio did not follow if I want only the audio, I will drag only audio. You see? Only that will foom. Foom, that is there. And then I will drop it. I want two of them. So you drag from there, from the middle. So when you've done that, just click click on this empty space. Delete. So now if you play this video like this, let's take the sound off so that we can increase the audio down here. Let's, this is what you get now. to notice. So it's from black to white. You remember we needed to move this one up then bring that white close. So that this is what you do. My name is Ia Kerijala. Oh, you can as well fade it out by clicking this middle, do control D to dissolve each other. They will dissolve together. Watch. My name is Ia Kerijala and I'm um, a fashion designer. Now, after the video, I still want the intro to end it. You still come back here on top here, drag it. It's not necessary that you must drag from that top. You can drag from here. But the reason why you need to drag from up is to see what you are. Right. If it's the actual tree. Before you go and drag this one now. I'm going to drag this on. Oh, it's not the image job. Mm -hmm. and I'm not ready. Double click. And you can just look at this what I want. So I'm going to bring this one here now and do this. Remember, I need to take it up, extend the sand trap down. Then you see that this media that you did here doesn't make sense anymore. This is where you need to delete your keyframe. How to delete your keyframe? Go back to your pen, click on it. It will turn blue. Once you turn blue, you can delete it. You see, immediately I deleted the keyframe. Now you see the audio went up again because it was the keyframe that was pulling it down. So now it's done. You can now add another one at the tip here. Another one to drag it down. So when you, once you do that, this is what you get. It's a great opportunity to be here. And to be able to empower myself to in the media field. You successfully done intro and it's a story. And you put it on your story, people are like, ah, what the thing, the thing you did, you've not seen story video they did before, mostly in adverts. 
So why not make your story videos like you? Not your selfie video you story. Um, do we need the fan? Is not easy. You can. We're almost done. We're almost done. So yeah, right. Let your video, not every video, not that you are doing self yeah this morning i wake up and not getting people you can edit it and put text and everything and post what, what are you selling okay i'm coming the main reason for this is for your business you want to show us your bottle water use your phone do it like a story do it like this add emotion add motion to it turn the bottle like this well, i made this water this morning and it's fine the bottle go there, add the name of the bottle water, add the name of the bottle water, add your business contact of and everything there. And it has soundtrack, intro and outro on story. Are you kidding me? This person took time to do this. <coughs> you think people don't appreciate that little time, you that little effort you put in to make it look beautiful. They text you put, and they will not carry their hand. Your phone. Okay, let me see if Instagram can help me do that. Hmm. There's no, there's no function in Instagram that can do that. That means this person edited it. That's it. And your business is coming. Please, for your business, unless you you are, you are selling yourself or you do makeup actually. Makeup. No, let's, no. let's do it a little one on phone. All right. How do we render? Okay, sorry. Let me hear. Okay. So, like, this is the movie that you come back to the food. So, like, you Okay. How do they transform up their video? They don't show you the process of making so many videos like time lapse. There's something they call time lapse, like. It's on our site on Premium Free. Premium Free can do it here now. For example, uh, for example, you want to show every side of this bottle. You can choose a white P, a white plain background, do like this. You can use it. It's preferable use a tripod. Use a tripod, something that can so hold the phone like this. So that's steady. Switch. Yes, steady. Then tap a little, take the picture, change position. Make sure the phone doesn't shake. Take the picture, change all the position. Mm. Then after you've taken a lot picture, you want all the position. Then bring it here. Mm, I'll show you how you group it now. Forward it to. It's talking about is it picture you use or video? Both it's picture not about and videos. Video. For instance, someone is cooking, is making stew, mm, and the person wants to be running. Uh, and wants to pass. Sometimes they do it to skip the process. Skip so you the process. Okay. okay. Just go to the Let end. me show you. Yeah. It's time remapping. Just speed it up. Um. We can use this our video now. Can we try with this our video? No, because no movement. Okay. I want to use video that has movement. <laughs> I shot this clip on Netflix. And I planted me downloaded. I'm going to ask my kids. It should be flagged because I need the video for the. Sorry. All I've seen is the potato, the tomato, and the plantain. Okay, let's bring this in here now. Okay, let's for let's do like this to skit. They are moving slowly, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to see all those processes. I just wanted to show their legs and everything. Okay. This is what you do. Call, click on it, right click. Go down, look for speed and duration. Okay, hello, Auntie, can you see it? Yes. Speed and duration. Click on it. It's hundred percent. You can choose to make it three hundred. Oh, okay, hundred percent is like normal. Normal. The more you increase the number, the, the speed, the yeah. fast it gets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The more you reduce, I've kept, I taught you that online, have you? The more you reduce, the, meanwhile, every Monday I do live stream to stream on the group, what time? on WhatsApp, on the Facebook group. So I will put on the Facebook group now. You guys can join. I think it's my nature everybody join because that's the place you ask your question and everything. Every Monday I'll come up, answer every question. It's a live stream. It's usually in the morning time. Uh, when I don't have chance, if I'm boost, I can't share it. So, 
this is 300 now click ok you see the clip is smaller now the more you reduce the number the lengthier it becomes or whatever the longer it becomes the more you speed it up the smaller it becomes the strength and you can't do this to any clip you want to use the audio yeah you can't do it to it because you just hear or if it's not slow, it's based on how fast I can slow my memory. So this is getting at this rate. You see? So, best thing to do is delete the audio. You see the way they are running? Time what? Speed and duration. Speed and duration. So let me quickly show you another one. That the one I explained there, the picture one, creating a time line. So it's not supposed to be part of this, but for the bonus sake, let's bring uh, pictures that you can like from here. So like here, and bring them in here. So I have to create an issue question for you. Um, this is what we do. On a quick one, easy way, if you want to create a, create a, a sequence based on this image, this is this side, just drag it to this icon. Okay. To create exact size of it for you. But sorry for anything lower 2018, you cannot do that. From 2018 up. So to create this. What do you mean anything 2018? Software. software. Yes. Are we to highlight all the pictures then? No, one. No. Okay. Just drag one. Just put one to create that sequence for you. Exactly. So what you now do is place all the pictures here. All the pictures, you see? They're all here. There's something they call next. Click on next. It, it becomes one click. One click. Now this is what you can do. Right click and speed up. Because we want to make a timeline again, it's not supposed to be part of it. Okay, it's easy. Okay, after bringing all the pictures here, how would you automatically move them? Seems like you just use some kind of shortcut or something to bring all of them here. No, I did not. This is what I did. This is what I did. Come here. Because I've highlighted them before. Click. Use sheets to highlight this in like Then drag them. Then highlight them. Right click and then you can put name photo. Photo one. Whatever. Photo D. Then clean now, you see this is what you get. To be changing one other you it takes time. We'll wait to this is a very boring slide. <laughs> so this is what we do right. Right yeah. click again, go to speed and duration. And let's make it let's make it no two hundred is very small. Okay. Let's make it four hundred. Okay, you see? This is 400. Now, this is where the problem is coming from. I personally use that so that I will bring you back. When you create a next folder like that, you know it's come up here. When you double click it, it will take you back to original, to open the original source for you. So this is what you do. Come here, reduce them one after the other. Okay. Okay. Reduce them one after the other. When you are done doing this, you can go and do your speed up. Okay. I speed faster. You understand what I'm doing? Yes. I'm deleting the space. Mm -hmm. 
test again. No, you don't. It doesn't go back there. So, so after Nelson, uh, you see that place. Because we've reduced it inside, you notice this line. Watch. You notice this. Mm. Telling that nothing is here again. Because we've reduced it. Compressed it. Compressed it. Inside it. Because we went deep inside to do that. So what you do now is you want to eliminate it. It's either you cut or you drag. So to make it more beautiful, let's go back here again. Highlight all of them. Highlight all. I like all of them and do control D. This will automatically apply transition in between all. Mm. I like all of them and do control D. So automatically apply transition with all. Then you go back and play this is what you get. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Now imagine this picture was taken on tripod without any movement. To be as if she's dancing. Because the frame will not be moving. It's only the object that will be moving. This is like the frames they use for animation. Yes. Mm, That's what. Mm. If the camera is on tripod, just the tricks I taught you guys last time how to duplicate yourself, making yourself three on the other scene. And the best person that did is Mr. Dio. We also, you know, let me play it for you guys. Any you note know that I forgot in the next class. So, any question? No. Question? Okay. But even you right now, you can copyright this. Go to their site. They have a site now. Copyright. Yeah. Yes. Copyright. Yeah. Nigerian, music. Nigerian music has copyright. Give you use the video song. You use the video song to not go there, drop it. You can protect your it's Either you give them credit. That's why it's always see that credit. Of course, if you give credit. If no. If you give them credit. Credit. Usually what happens is you seek for credit. When they give you the credit, when, they, when, when you, so, you seek for permission, when they give you the permission, they would prescribe the credit line, how you would inscribe the credit. They are the ones who usually prescribe it. That's how it works. So every time you're using that material, you inscribe that credit that they have given. I'm sorry, let me get something. With this picture, yeah. you just put one, this, let it go, go, one of the songs. Just put as the audio. Mm. But that's not like that. Upload it on YouTube. Mm. This is not going to upload. On it's YouTube, not. it will not go. It's but the song is copyrighted. It it made the song is copyrighted. But one thing they do these days is. What? No, wait. Answer. I understand what you're talking about because you've seen it everywhere. It's yeah. everywhere. It's going. Yeah. Abby. But those people must have collected license. Like someone like uh, we are talking about Tinder and all those guys now. We are fighting. No, we are talking about business. If you have a business page, it will not go. Upload it on your personal handle, it will go. They understand business. You have to pay. There's a difference between page and account. Once your Instagram is switched to business account, if you try this thing several times and they want you, they want you, the account will be pulled down. Your YouTube, when your YouTube is mon uh, monetized, have you had it? Monetized. monetized. Once it's monetized, forget it. If you upload it, they will drop it. Because they believe you're making money out of it. This guy deserves to be. Paid. Mm. Anything for business, soon go. But there's some, uh, like all those international, like Chris Brown soundtrack, even for personal, you won't use it. Even personal, you won't use it. So, any other question? Please ask your question now. The phones up. The phones up. Okay, let's click. Press the. I want to, I want to join the group. I want everybody to join the Facebook group so that you partake in the uh, weekly training.
Okay. First of all, everybody should join that platform so that I'll post the link there that we join. That's the Facebook. No, WhatsApp platform. If you are not there, please. Uh, where is the... I'll get the link. Are you on the WhatsApp platform? No, I'll get the link. No, I'll post it on the WhatsApp platform. The link is on the WhatsApp platform. I'll add you. And you add us once you add and then... Let me know how many people. Let me have your name. Please, can can somebody volunteer? Just give me a paper. Let me get the names of people. I'll just I'll add you after now. Okay, the phone app. There's an application called... Fortunately, I cannot produce it here now. This, I'm sure you must have seen it in almost all the Instagram videos. Once this is in short, after recording your video, once you open it, this is the first thing you see. Uh, click on video. So once you click on video, to open the videos on your, uh, your phone, you can choose, okay, this one. This one, I call it, I'm okay, okay. Play. You want to add music? Uh, what are you doing? Which one are you using? Select it. Yes. Okay. Yes, you sure? Are you sure we're using the same thing? Okay. Select it. <laughs> you want to use music? They will show you some dice that came with the app, or you can choose your own music. I want to choose my own music. Okay, you can choose. You want to use this one? Use. Then. Once you choose this one, you see it's not aligned. It's not aligned. Double click on it. You can trim. I want. You can trim. Then click on fade in and out. Hmm? To make it line like this, hold it and drag. Okay. Mm -hmm, to be able to match. It. So, so, if I click OK now, play it. Okay, let's play it again from the beginning. Can you get a suggestion? Maybe for a subsequent training. Okay. If you can record this so that you can project it. So, when you're giving this application is actually self taught. Once you go there, you see it. It's very easy. With yes, with what everything you've seen here now, with the knowledge of this, the reason why I have to go here because it's the most difficult one. No need of teaching you with the phone down. One day, what if the the developer now decide one day to withdraw the app? And you not be constrained. That's why I have to go. With whatever you bring here today, I believe you can be able to create your video yourself. Any other question, please? Is there a way you can trim out, maybe you want to use a song as a um, ringtone, but the intro is too long. How do you usually cut out the particular part? Maybe you can do it, yes. On yes. When you, okay, we've not done rendering, right? No. Okay. You name that. That is the most common word you use in a... So video this editing. is video editing. This is the video we created. Hello. So let's go export. Go to file. Go export media. Who is taking notes? Who noticed something here? I didn't see the thing. File export. File export. Who noticed something here? I told us something today when I was doing it. Okay, good. Notice the control M. So that next time you won't go through that process again. Sure. Just wait for it a bit. So, this is it now. It will bring you export. It will bring it here. It will bring it, bring it here now. You have to go to your format. Go. Make sure it's on the on this uh, H264. Why? H264 is MP4. Okay. H264 is MP4 because that is only format that can go on any social media. Okay. So, this one, the preset, just leave it on my IP trade. Let it be. 
much high bit rate. You didn't see it? After you click H264, you have to put it on H264 here. Yeah. Then click on output name. You can choose to choose the location you want it to go. Please mind this. Know that you will render video if you start start looking for it. Don't just click render. It's not gonna store in one program file. There's another program file inside the unit. You will not see it. So name it properly. There's so just remember the support button is there. It's okay. And we want it to be on desktop. Click on desktop. Save. Boom. Come here. Look at the summary. You see what it's telling you now? Desktop first and before. Okay. This is this is specifically details of the video you're rendering. The frame the frame rate is 18 and uh, 10, uh, 1080 by 1920, which is the story. You get? Mm -hmm. So the whole story, okay. All you just need to do is say, look at the size. Mm -hmm. 46 MB. At the length of 38 seconds. But sometimes you can mm -hmm. actually choose to reduce the size. But remember, the more you reduce the size, mm -hmm. the more the quality goes. Mm -hmm. If I review. Well, imagine the mm -hmm. no, size 46 MB, that's too much. He will have who need quality. She was so much yeah. storage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. well, that's the so export. First of all, export the audio. Then, if your system is not strong enough, if you don't have enough RAM, this is where you click export and go and sleep. So it's in tomorrow morning. So currently we are arranging cabinets. So how was the training? How is everything? You guys enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you learn anything? <laughs> like I said, are you using it? Because you want to send it to social media. Mm -hmm. You, you can send up to 4 gig. 4 gig is the max you can send on social media. Social media. Yes. 4 gig is the max you can send. Once. So this is At for, once. This is for 6 MB. Mm -hmm. Does that include YouTube? And YouTube, you can, if you are streaming on YouTube, you can stream also 48 hours. Length. Uh, because I know that there are some videos there that are. Length. Length. Auto 48 hours. It's done. So, you see, it's done. It will take us back to. Remember something, we will not take this thing away. Let's go and play that video, you see it there. Stop playing, they will not just want to run it down. <laughs> <laughs> they are lucky, they played it at home. That is, they, they are not playing it in wedding reception. <laughs> no. I stopped playing many times. I, I, I downloaded one video, I cut something out to use, I, just, I forgot to delete the remaining one. Okay. This other video was too big. What happened? Maybe it's a quality. God help me, I just still let me play this. I don't remember Hallelujah. And some people clapping. This is you see. So be careful of your project. Check where, play where, play it from the beginning to the end, listen to it over and over again before and always send to somebody who is at your own reason the same way, reason not intellectual, but who in, in that line of business, who who understand video editing and who will just give you credit because they are looking at it from their own aspect. 
still on the on the other video, that mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, I add a video. I don't know the in the in the panel is different. The resident is like one hundred and fifty meters, and the size is almost thirty meters. Mm -hmm. So there was no way, and I need to put it on the CD. So there was no way. I don't know how to. I just. I just okay, you want to put it on the CD? Yes. That one is now media production. Okay, no, I just. It's just one hour video. I'll put it on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. It will go. No matter the size. <laughs> See, when you're uploading, you know what YouTube do. No, YouTube are not taking your size. They're taking the police. I know, but this technology. There was no. Is it an super fast internet? Have you attempted to upload it on YouTube? I'm not going to try it. It's 13 <laughs> gig. I am subscribed for how much. I said I come to somewhere that I have money. Do you know, so I need to do you know who, uh, what everything will be doing here today? Yes, Hello, sir. Let me surprise you. The video, you know, this training we've been doing since morning is being streamed on the private YouTube channel. And we're also recording it on that camera. Okay. Now, if I tell you that everything will be recording here now is like up to. Uh, Sixty something gig. Yeah, sorry. Did Funny you see? Thing about the video is, it was streamed on Facebook live. Mm. This and you video. When I downloaded it on Facebook, yeah. it was just less than three hundred and something. Three hundred and something. So, but the wrong one, because while I was streaming, I was also seeing it. Okay. So the wrong one. What did you use to record it? Actually, I used Vmix. Vmix. And you recorded it in. AVI. Yeah. Yeah. AVI. Yeah. Yeah. Why won't it be live? You should have used MP4 to record. So what you do is to import it into Premiere Pro, export it as MP4, size will reduce. But your system, you have to, you need a fast system to do that. Or just render it and then just render it and so, um, Ayo, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the training today, and I hope it's worth your time. I guess somebody asked that question on the platform. I saw it. <laughs> you are the one. So, now you the part of that. I know. <laughs> No, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I was fine.